So today I am with two young ladies from Africa STEM Academy. They both have been awarded today for the work that they've been doing and Africa STEM Academy is headed by Maurice Cheatham and he has been doing some amazing work getting these young people in Ghana to really know tech. So I'm with Maurice Cheatham, who is the head of the Africa STEM Academy and also the CEO of African Roots Travel. He is African American, Ghanaian, and he's been doing a lot of great work in this country. And Thank it's you. really amazing what you've done with these children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a great pleasure. Um, obviously, we have so many great people in the tourism industry to do great things. Uh, and just find a way to give back. Find a way is to take our resources and the people who we mean our networks and make sure they trickle down to the community. So obviously I'm not a STEM guy. <laughs> I majored in criminal justice. But we wanted to uh, partner with Jack and Jill Brooklyn Chapter who were our benefactors and develop a project that's sustainable mm -hmm. and invest in the youth and allow them to be able to compete on a global scale. So we do coding, robotics, drones, and mentoring, you know. Um, so it's a great program. It's the Monprobi and Monprobi Basic Four in, in Accra, Ghana, so. And what made you choose this particular group of students? Uh, it, probably selfish. Uh, my father, uh, my father who is Ghanaian, um, he's from Jamestown, but my grandmother's house is in Monprobi, which is two minutes away okay. from the location of the STEM Center. Um, in my mind, uh, people invested in my father to be able to make it to America. So it's a community feeling. I have to invest in his community. And kids need to receive the same from what him. So through them, through him, they receive through what me. So, That's great. That's yeah. really great. And yeah. um, since you started the initiative, what have you seen in the changes in the children since the first day you started to now? Because it's a been a couple question. of years, yeah, right? Yeah. It's been one and a half years. I don't know where we got two, but one Boy, and a half. Kids had two yeah. <laughs> we were looking. No, it's, it's been one and a half. Um, you know, what we what we really have seen is self-confidence. Even before we get to some, we've seen self-confidence. So we work with a government school that's ranked on the lowest at the bottom of the totem pole. And when I say that is the resources aren't there. Mm -hmm. So us to work at a school like that, we've seen the kids engage and be proud of their school. You know, be proud of what they're doing. And now they're in a community like, we do STEM because mm -hmm. other schools aren't doing it. Right. So uh, more importantly, even we do certain things, we allow them to sometimes speak in their native language, to speak in God. A majority of kids are God. Um, because we're trying to impart with them is the knowledge is what's most important. And to be you and get the concept. Mm -hmm. The concept. Don't struggle on English. Get the concept. Mm -hmm. So we're saying self-development, but surprisingly, a lot, of our, a lot of our young female scholars are the ones who are really... They're Excelling. flourishing. They're flourishing. That's amazing. They're flourishing. Uh, they're on their second level, still with cold combat. So, yeah, they're flourishing. That's good. Yeah. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. I am with two young ladies from Africa STEM Academy. They both have been awarded today for the work that they've been doing. And Africa STEM Academy is headed by Maurice Cheatham, and he has been doing some amazing work getting these young people in Ghana to really know tech and to learn the skills necessary in order to be able to be the people of the future who are moving this country forward using their technology skills. Alexis. Yes, please. So Alexis, please, I would like to hear how old are you and how long have you been doing tech? Um, I'm 15 years. Is it how, how, how long, long have you been in the Africa STEM Academy? Yes, I was two years. Two years? Yes. Oh, wow. So for two years, that's, that's really good. So, and we have Josephine here. Josephine, how, many, how old are you and how many um, years? I'm 15 years old. It, hasn't got, it has gotten to a year and some days. Mm -hmm. yes. When we started with this coding class. I would like to know, did you know anything about coding before you started this class? No, we wasn't having any idea about coding until we started this class. And what is it that you've learned most about how coding can help you? Coding can help in, let's take it as, we want to do both, to move to other places, yes. And something like doing this one. You want to order something, you can use boats, you can program a boat to order for what you want. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. So have either one of you programmed something that you started to use? Not no. yet. 
yes. Not yet. Okay. I thought we could come, but we hasn't gotten to where we could something. Okay. So the competition that you both were in, what did you do in the competition? Because you had a competition. Essay competition. Okay. The essay competition. We googled beyond everything, some pillars, then we add some idea to it. Yes. And what did you write about it? What did you learn about it? I learned it is a follow-up to the successful year of return in Ghana 2019. It commemorated a 400th anniversary of the first enslaved Africans in Jamestown, Virginia in the year 1619 and thereabouts. Okay. And what did you learn about it that you didn't know? Um, I also learned that it was, it's begin from 2019, yes. And do you know how it helped Ghana, the no. initiative? It helps Ghana in our tourism side mm -hmm. and it also helps in growing of tourist sites in Ghana, yes. And so today the two of you were awarded, you got awards, right? Yes. A certificate. Yes. Tell me, how did you feel? I feel very happy for the gift today and I really appreciate it and I say a very big thank you to Annabelle McKenzie for the gift. May God richly bless her. Thank you. I, did you open the gift? What was it? Money. Oh, you got money? Yes. <laughs> It was 500 cities. Oh, that must have changed your world. <laughs> Please say. It must have like changed your world. Like yes. you have plans yes. for it that you already I know. I have getting money for the Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. And you, did you get the same? I got 300. And how did you feel? I was very excited and surprised because I didn't think I would be the second place winner. So I say a very big thank you to Beyond Everything and Annabelle McKenzie for handing us with a token of appreciation. Right. It's a very big thank you. So what is next? Do you know what you'll be doing when you resume? Because you're on break right now, right? Yes. What will you be doing when you, res when you resume? Do you know yet? We'll be doing STEM kits. Like you program how to program LED, which is light emitting diode, then traffic light, and buzzer, which is the, this one, um, alarm, yes. Are you looking forward to it? Oh, yes. We've programmed those things, but left it some for us to program. We'll be continuing this thing. Okay, great. Thank you, ladies. Um, and what's in store? Like, what's your vision for the long term? Yeah. So this is actually um, our second STEM lab. We've been built one up in Andam um, and Basic School, but they run that. This is the first one. We're going to launch out, and we're going to do a, a drone academy. A drone academy. Uh, yeah. We're oh. not going to do it at. Uh, we're only going to do coding at uh, Mount Proby Basic School. We're going to find another location in about February and develop a drone academy. So our goal is to just work with. As I said, the resources we do travel and tour, our partner African Roots Travel, and just have corporations sponsor these centers of education. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so when you're doing this, are you getting any kind of financial support? Yeah, yeah. So this program was sponsored by Jack and Jill Brooklyn Chapter. Mm -hmm. um, we came, they came in July 2023, and we challenged them to go beyond donating backpacks and paper, which is cool. I mean, you know, but we want to see something that the kids could really grasp onto and that we can measure, mm -hmm. and for years to come. Mm -hmm. So they started with seed money, um, a, a decent amount, uh, and that allowed us to uh, retrofit a classroom from everything from bars to Turkish doors. We got projectors, we have screens. Um, the kids have STEM kits, they have VCR. So um, Jack and Jill really, they believed. That's good. And they believed. They really believed in the program. They believed in Ghana. Yeah. They believed in Ghana. That's so, good. Yeah. And um, if anybody wants to support, like if anybody's watching and they want to support you, how can they get in touch with you? Please go to the website, www.africastemacademy. Um, you can reach me directly on WhatsApp, 233 <laughs> Um, five nine three zero six three seven seven nine, or you can email me at info at africastemacademy.com. Fantastic! That's Thank it. you so much. I'm so five. proud of you and what you're doing. Like SPR, be our person in the game. Thank you. Ivy Prosper.